allow me to introduce myself. I am Professor Thor Bear of the University of Birkbeck. Uh, we have made some recent studies, and in them we have found that knowledge that used to be common is now found more rarely. This is quite distressing, to be honest, so we have decided to make this little podcast or program, if you're watching on YouTube, where we will inform you with uh, facts, objective truths. Uh, we have a little teaser for three of them, and I'll go more in-depth on the last one. So these three objective truths is that uh, number one, all land above sea level is a mountain. Number two, the moon is not made of cheese, common misconception. It is in fact made of super compact sand. And most importantly, number three, math is bad. Now, some of you with arguably below average intellect may say that uh, that's my subjective opinion. Well, you, you would be right, if not for my subjective opinion, being that it is subjective. I believe it is subjective, uh, and therefore I'm technically right in everything I say. Uh, so, let me go a little bit more in depth on why number three is number three. Well, we can start with some simple facts. I know you all love facts. Uh, the fact is... Maybe you found math fun sometime. Maybe you thought, hey, this is fulfilling. I know what to do. I can do this. You made one small mistake thinking that this is truth because what if you don't know what to do? What if you're stuck? Then it's bad. It's quite bad. It's quite distressing. You feel terrible, way more terrible than the positive effect that actually managing to do math will give you. And you'll be quite harsh, like many children today. But where did it all start? Well, long ago, math was just numbers. Uh, but then some asshole, uh, or not some asshole. I mean, his name is asshole, not the, not the title asshole, not like an idiot, but like his name was asshole. Uh, he lived 2,400 years ago, around that, and his full name was Asshole Calculus. And yes, I, I have to say his full name was Asshole Calculus. It's not a joke. He was Greek. We cannot judge. It was over 2000 years ago. Let's let it be. Well, he decided one day that uh, he didn't want math to be fun. He wanted to have other things than numbers in math. And so he did. And it was a pain for about a thousand years until the collapse of the Roman Empire. Thank fuck. And here I must become a little personal, I know. it's This is supposed to be an educational video and podcast. But I have to go a little personal because what good is knowledge if not personal knowledge? So uh, I'm an atheist and I don't agree with much the church has done. And I am not Christian in any way, shape or form. But boy! Did they know what to do with mathematicians? Have you ever heard of a guy called Galileo Galilei? Well, about 500 years ago, he went to church and he started speaking math. He went to church and started telling them math. Quite rude, if you ask me. But they're priests, they have never heard of math before. So, yeah, he did that. He did that. But uh, these priests were quite kind, and they immediately understood his situation. He immediately understood his mental illness, that we today call uh, being a mathematician, or the study of math, having studied math through your life. And so they found out he was a danger to the people, which he is. If you saw a madman killing people for no reason, you say that guy's a danger to society. And mathematicians are also dangerous to society, through their torturous ways of teaching people of X, Z, and Y. And using them in math, of course. So, of course. Uh, and so they did the one thing you can do, really, to help people like this, and they locked him in his house. Which is a good move, good move. We should... We, we have tried some of this in recent times. Uh, but it seems we're kind of letting that concept go, as of lately. Last year, all mathematicians were locked in their homes. 
Yeah, but I'm not going to get too personal. My opinion is supposed. I I'm not supposed to share too much of my opinion. You can make your own opinion on that. <sighs> well, this was unfortunately 500 years ago. Today we are in a way way darker age. In this day of age, whole nations live in fear because of math. And how you may ask how how does numbers how does numbers how can numbers threaten an entire civilization? Well, the thing is that these numbers were allowed to grow and fester like a disease among the population. And humanity has finally started showing the symptoms. And they are grave indeed. One of the symptoms you might have heard of, it is the atom bomb. The atom bomb were use, was created through the use of complex math. The atom bomb, if you don't know, is a dev quite devastating weapon. And today, it, we have enough of them to glass the planet. We can destroy our entire planet thanks to math. And yeah, okay, I'm sorry for ending it on that dark note. Uh, this is unfortunately all the time we have uh, today. And uh, next time you see me, it will only be my hand going rapidly towards your face. Uh, fuck you, I'm going to go play Skyrim.